Community tonight, runners got together in Williston this morning for the third annual Deb Beckett Memorial 5K race. The Williston Richmond Rotary Club hosts the event to honor a longtime Williston resident. Fox 44 Sam Israel spoke with her family today. Those who live in the Williston and Richmond communities came together for a yearly tradition with nearly 100 walkers and runners who took part in the Deb Beckett Memorial 5K race. This year, the Williston Community Park, once again full of lively racers on Independence Day weekend. It's fun to see the same faces, you know, for 20, 30 years now <laughs> um, here whenever you come to North Williston to an event here in the village. This is Deb's favorite time of year. The 4th of July was her thing, so to have this every year around the 4th of July is always an amazing thing. Amidst the wildfire smoke, resilient racers were greeted by loud cheers near the finish line. Well, we made it. <laughs> we finished. It's kind of sweaty, but we did it. Although this is only the third year of the Deb Beckett 5K race, Independence Weekend races aren't anything new to Williston. Folks that we've known since we were little kids um, are here officiating the race and in some cases running in the race and then folks that are new to town who we know, so it's just a great community event that has, you know, generations of, of Williston friends and family. The race was initially called the Firecracker Fun Run, but the name was changed following the passing of a beloved figure in the community. There's something actually a little symbolic about the route of this race and how it goes, you know, starts at the school and goes um, through this, you know, lap around North Williston that goes by, you know, her home, where she worked, where she volunteered, where we grew up. Um, so it's very, very special that way. Deb Beckett was born and raised in Massachusetts, but going to school at St. Mike's kept her in the Green Mountain State. Serving as Williston Town Clerk and Treasurer for over 20 years only begins to scratch the surface of her work in public service. I'll what was she not there. involved in? <laughs> still to this day, I'm learning about new things that she was involved in. Her passion for voter engagement is something that sticks with her children to this day. Always vote. <laughs> yep. Always vote. Always vote. Always <laughs> vote. And her devotion to her community spans beyond Vermont's borders. Starting during her time at St. Mike's, she served in Vermont's Army National Guard for 20 years, being deployed to Kuwait in Iraq. And a couple months before she left, she came home in a brand new bright red sports car. And um, it was like, Mom, why, why not wait till you get back to get that sports car? <laughs> what are you doing? And she's like, you know what? Life is short and it's really red. Her time in the military left scars. And in 2017, she was diagnosed with cancer resulting from toxic burn pits. Near and dear to her heart were the burn, the burn pits in Iraq. was very big on recognizing that as, as an issue with the military to collaborate on, you know, raising funds. She passed away in 2020. She was honored by the state the same year. Her legacy will continue to live on through the Deb Beggett 5K race. In Williston, Sam Israel, Fox 44 News.